Last year, in our annual report, we had the audacity to say that genomics is changing everything. This year, it's becoming clear that that statement is actually factual. We have changes in our healthcare system, in personalized medicine, that is allowing us to delineate diseases, especially cancer, mental diseases, at a genetic level, and allowing us to develop new targets. But perhaps even more important than the area in health is the area of food and agriculture. It's clear that issues of climate change, of population growth, of food security are critical to our future. And genomics is allowing us to develop new drought-resistant foods, allowing us to establish areas of food security, perhaps even allowing us to grow food in areas that are currently not possible. A very important but little known fact is that 85% of the world's biomass are not plants and humans or animals, but in fact microbes. And these microbes are very good at keeping a clean environment. Increasingly, as man pollutes in mining, in water, and starts to, in fact, destroy the biodiversity of the world, these microbes can teach us how to correct things. And in fact, microbial genomics is allowing us to even alter some of these microbes to make sure that they aid us in cleaning up our environment. And this is one of the most exciting new areas and one of the major hopes for mankind. And then finally, perhaps the most promising and exciting area is the area of synthetic biology, where we can actually synthesize genes to specifically make nutrients, biofuels, vaccines, to make new medicines. And this is a hugely important area that uh, OGI and our colleagues here in Ontario are, are starting to work on in a very important fashion. In the continuum between fundamental research carried on in our great universities, and product development performed by our science-based industries, the Ontario Genomics Institute has an incredibly important niche, and that is in the area of translation, in bringing those ideas from the laboratory to the marketplace. And we do that in health, in mining, in agriculture, and in water. In the videos in our annual report that follow, you're gonna hear some of those stories. And next year when I report to you, I'm going to tell you about how some of these studies in genomics are in fact improving our lives.